Hello and welcome to this video on how to make an auto smelter module for your rust industrial pipe system. Uh, so you can start off here with some ores and wood in a box. If you have watched my previous video on a sorting system, you can take your pipeline from your tier two. Uh, otherwise, you, you'll just need to get some ore and wood from a box somewhere in your base. Uh, you want two conveyors and you want a splitter and a combiner. This is so you can take the line and split it into two conveyors because you want to filter the wood separately from your ores. Let's top one to wood, the max to 10, apply, bottom one to ore, all three, get those all to 10, and apply, and we can plug this in to the furnace, and we can connect this to the furnace, and then we can have one more conveyor here and plug this straight into the box. Again, if you have my sorting system, you can plug the furnaces directly into the tier two system without this conveyor. Otherwise, you can just plug it into the conveyor. And uh, you don't need a filter on this. So we'll need three power or two if you're using my sorting system. You turn it all on. And I'll start to move the resources. Now the problem with this is that you still have to manually turn on the furnaces, which is no good. So grab an igniter, put that down there. We also want a timer. And on the wood conveyor, I'll make this line yellow. On the filter path, we want to output that to the toggle on of your timer. We need to power the timer. We need two power, one for the timer, one for the igniter. That's two power by default. And we can run this into the igniter. And there it goes. Now we can change this timer to 0.25. That's just so it doesn't burn out the igniter. It'll automatically start itself. We uh, take the wood out of here and these furnaces run out of wood. When you want to start it again, you just add wood in there and it will automatically turn on your system. If you wanted to power multiple igniters here, you can add a splitter after this timer and plug the splitter into however many igniters you have. Then you just have to increase the amount of power into the bottom of this timer here. Now the next problem here is what if you run out of ore? There's still all this wood and it just keeps burning and burning and burning. So you can either manually turn it off or you can automate it. So you take the filter path of the ore conveyor and plug that into the turn on of the wood conveyor and take the filter fail of your ore conveyor, put that into the turn off of your wood conveyor. So now that it, there's no ore in here, you'll see that it's turned the wood conveyor off and it's no longer replenishing this wood. It'll burn out the rest of the wood it has, but then when that's gone, it'll turn the whole system off, even though there's still wood in here. So all I need to do to restart it is add the ores back and it'll start running again. Of course, everything's being deposited in this box over here. And there you have it. As a recap, if you do have my sorting system, you just plug the tier two line into this splitter here and you plug the last furnace back into the tier two line. So you can skip this conveyor altogether and you don't have to have additional boxes. You can also add an oil refinery if you just put crude oil in here and you can just put it even between the furnaces like that. Turn these back on, off it goes. Of course, you need an igniter over here, but oh, and one more thing you need to add crude oil to that filter. And off it goes. Having ore refineries and furnaces in the same circuit is convenient. However, when you're running the furnaces, the oil refinery will always be on and vice versa. The only other thing you'll have to be careful of is conveyors can only see 16 connections in front or behind them. So for example, these conveyors have one, two, three, four, five connections. So these two push it through five connections and this one pulls. Well, this one was only through four since this one, it doesn't pull anything from here. But once you have a lot of large furnaces, if you're in a big clan, you can start running into issues there so just keep in mind since you need this combiner after the first two conveyors the maximum amount of uh, furnaces or oil refineries you can have connected together like this is uh, actually 15 setting up the electric furnace with this system is fairly simple I'm turning the furnace around and then leaving a little bit of room lining it up with the square on the floor there that leaves enough room for the adapter plus I can still access the wires here if you put it the other way around and flush against the wall you don't really have good access to the power sockets here the next one you put facing the other way right up against the first one. And you can still access the power there. Same with the last one, just snug it up against that other one. So you can still access all the power slots and the adapters. Perfect. Now, you can plug the conveyor. One conveyor needed. You don't need the wood one anymore. Directly into the furnace. This furnace to the next one. Be sometimes a little fiddly here when it's in the corner. There we go. Grab the output and either into your tier two sorting system or into this single conveyor that goes into the box here. Now the thing about the electric furnaces is they need three power each. We need to get a splitter and we need three power plus a splitter for 10. Get that there. And then you can turn them on. Now all that's left to do is make sure these conveyors are powered. Turn them on and everything will start smelting. 
Now the electric furnaces are a little faster than your regular wood furnaces, the small ones anyway. You're using electricity instead of wood and you won't get charcoal. Now you can't automate the turning on and off of these furnaces. So you add an AND switch here, and instead of plugging into the splitter directly, you can plug into the AND like this, then plug the AND into your splitter, and then take the filter pass from your OR conveyor and plug that into the other side of your AND. And that'll keep your furnaces on. The only problem is if you run out of OR, it will turn off your furnaces before they smelted whatever's inside of them. That is something to note. That's the beauty of having the, the wood furnaces is that it'll still have the 10 wood in it and it'll finish that off before it turns the furnaces off, whereas this is instant. You could put a timer on it when the uh, it doesn't see any more OR, it delays it by a couple seconds, but uh, that's a lot more work than it's worth. Overall, this is a very simple circuit it. It only takes an additional four or five power, depending on if you already have a sorting system set up. It's very easy to put together. In my opinion, it's a must have for every base. If you haven't already, be sure to watch my modular sorting system guide I posted prior to this video, and that'll give you all the information you need to set up a modular sorting system that this module can be easily connected into, hence the signs up here. If you're wondering what that's all about. Other than that, I'll be posting more modules shortly, so be sure to stay tuned.